Phylogeny is the history of the relatedness of organisms. Phylogeny generates a series of branching groups of related organisms called clades. Each clade is a group of species that share a common ancestor. Each clade branches into smaller clades and ultimately species. Phylogeny can be measured based on changes in DNA sequence. As genetic molecules reproduce, they accumulate mutations randomly. In this example, each offspring in generation two acquires two new mutations, such that their sequences differ by 25%. In the next generation, each individual propagates the earlier mutant sequences while acquiring two more random mutations. Strain 3C now differs by 50% from strains 3A and 3B, which differ by 25% from each other. Actual organisms show much lower rates of mutation and diverge over many generations. The number of sequence differences between two species should be proportional to the time of divergence between them, assuming that the offspring acquire a consistent number of random mutations from their parents. The temporal information contained in a macromolecular sequence is called a molecular clock. In practice, the molecular clock works best for a particular gene sequence with the following features. The gene has the same function across all species compared. The generation time is the same for all species compared. And the average mutation rate remains constant among species and across generations. The most widely used molecular clock is the gene encoding the small subunit ribosomal RNA, or SSURRNA. The SSURRNA is a key component of a ribosome. The SSURRNA is particularly useful because certain portions of its sequence are remarkably conserved across all forms of life. These portions can be used to define primers to amplify DNA of the gene encoding the rRNA using the polymerase chain reaction. The gene sequence lying between a pair of primers will show greater variation, allowing distinction between different clades. PCR can be used to amplify genes even from a mixture of uncultured organisms. For example, these sequences from a gene encoding the small subunit ribosomal RNA can be used to determine the relatedness of the bacteria and to map a phylogenetic tree. First, the gene sequences must all be aligned, which is typically done by a computer. The differences between the sequences are tallied. Two of the sequences differ by just two bases, a 7% difference. Comparing either of these closely related sequences to the others shows a greater divergence. The most closely related are grouped together. The other more divergent are grouped accordingly. The length of each branch in the tree is given by the divergence, or percentage of base positions that differ between two organisms. Let's look at another tree. This tree connects species of hyperthermophilic archaea growing at an undersea thermal vent. Nodes are the points connecting two lineages of organisms. A node represents their common ancestor, which no longer exists today. The root of the tree represents a group's common ancestor, defined by its relatedness to a more distant organism called the outgroup. In this tree, Pyrobaculum aerophyllum is the outgroup. If all the organisms shown were sampled today, how is it possible that their branch lengths fail to line up for the same amount of time? Divergence data include many modifying factors that cause changes to accumulate at different rates. For example, different organisms reproduce at different rates. In different organisms, DNA mutates at different rates. And a molecular clock gene may be subject to different levels of selective pressure in different organisms. This tree compares the relatedness of some gamma proteobacteria, including enterobacteria, which may grow in our digestive tract. For this tree, the outgroup is Schuonella, a lithotrophic soil bacterium. The sequence data can be combined with geologic fossil information to estimate time since two branches shared a common ancestor. For example, 
Escherichia, and Salmonella diverged from a common ancestor about 80 million years ago. For some branches, the fan or bush shape represents a large number of deeply divergent organisms. Why is the Buchnera branch so much longer than the others? Buchnera bacteria live as endosymbionts within insect cells. Buchnera species have mutated much faster than free-living bacteria, losing many genes whose functions are provided by the insect host cell. Thus, our molecular clocks are inevitably distorted, especially for distantly diverged organisms with disparate mutation rates.